Hi everybody, it's Mina. Welcome back to my channel. Or if this is the very first video that you're seeing me, then welcome to my channel. Please be sure to hit the subscribe button down below if you didn't already. I post every day except for Tuesday and Friday afternoon sometimes. And today in this video, I'm going to share with you guys another frustrating karaoke story. So I have like four frustrating karaoke stories, and if you didn't see them, I'll link them all down below. And today's frustrating karaoke Carry, frustrating karaoke story, excuse me, my tongue is so twisted, is about how I went to do karaoke with Josie and a couple people because we were with some friends and we were in a day program and a, an employee was very rude to Josie about how Josie accidentally had an open can, open beverage can, which is, it happened to be soda in the karaoke room. So room and the lady was super rude to her about it. So this is a story just to let you guys know, if you're working at a certain place and some people are not following the rules correctly, it's always important to be polite, even if people aren't following the rules. So this is just to let you guys know how important it is to always be polite to the customers if they don't, they're not following the rules and they don't know the rules properly. It's always good to just make sure they understand. And it's always good to just be nice so then people understand what not to do. So I'm going to get started. So this all started about, I think it was like four years ago. I went to do karaoke with Josie. Oh, by the way, if you did not see my other frustrating karaoke stories, I'll link them all down below. And so I went to do karaoke with Josie. And for those who do not know who Josie is, she is my best friend. She has appeared here quite a lot on my YouTube channel. And some other people, because we were in a day program, we had a supervisor. So I think it was like five of us all together. And we all brought money to pay for karaoke. So we, we all come in. We grab our karaoke money and then we all pay for it for it we get the equipment and the books and then walk straight into the room and we rented this really huge room and I think we got it for like about an hour that day and as we're in the karaoke room we're having so much fun we spend like 20 minutes and the lady walks into our karaoke room, room checking on us and she goes oh you only have this many minutes minutes like about 20 minutes left and we're like what but we paid for it for an hour I don't know if the lady got our room time screwed up with another person's but we had paid for the karaoke room for an hour and by that time we had about um a half an hour left left in the karaoke room so my supervisor walks out talks to the lady and the lady is like oh well and I guess the lady must have got our room time screwed up with another um karaoke party but um she literally like walked in and told us we had uh, only like 20 minutes left when we actually had a half an hour I don't know what she was doing that day but she probably was a little off or something so anyway she comes back into the room and then and then apologizes and then says oh I'm sorry I got your time screwed up we only have you only have 30 minutes left and then all of a sudden she notices an open can of soda which happened to be Josie she which she probably accidentally opened before we walked into the karaoke room and the lady was super rude she was like oh you're not supposed to have that in there and we were like okay what is you, hey lady please be, what is your problem and why are you being so rude about it? And she just made Josie, she did Josie, you have to take that outside and then dump it. And then she was just in a really bad mood and you can tell by the tone of her voice that the lady was just very irritated that Josie had brought an open can of soda into the karaoke room. So Josie gets up, grabs her soda, and I think she's like halfway done with it and then she has to dump the soda in the sink, which is super annoying and my super and Josie was pretty mad about it and so was my supervisor because my supervisor did not like the lady's attitude towards Josie because um that was not acceptable for her to be rude about Josie having an open can of soda in the karaoke room the room and so we decided to forget about it for a little bit and continue to do karaoke Okay, and then by the time our time is up, we gather all the stuff and put it in the basket because the karaoke place, they give you a basket with a book full of songs and artists. So we take it to the front and then we, the employees like, um, this is not, then we see a different employee and this lady looked like she was in her mid, um, I think mid twenties or something. And she, I think she had like reddish hair and she seemed really nice and everything. And she was like, how was your time at karaoke? And we were like, yes, we had a good time, but your employee was very grumpy for some weird reason. And they were like, oh, which one? And we pointed to this lady that was in, 
the lady, she had kind of short hair and she was kind of rude and everything. And um, she had like short hair and then she was kind of like um, overweight. I think she was in her thirties and we pointed to her. <laughs> Her, we were like, it was her, and we're like, okay, I'll have my manager talk to her, blah, 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 blah. And we were super happy, and I think that we saw the manager talking to the lady, and um, the lady walks over and apologizes to us for being a little rude about Josie having the can of soda in the karaoke room, and she should have been a little bit nicer, which I thought was really nice of her to take responsibility for her actions, and they said said um we're sorry that we had to do that it's just some pe it's just we get mad when some people will have food or karaoke in the karaoke food no food or drinks in the karaoke room and they're not supposed to do that blah 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 and we're trying to make sure people follow the rules all the time and i was like and we were like okay and then i think we both learned something that day the employee learned to be nice about the rules and then josie learned not to bring food or drinks into the karaoke room to eat or drink. So, yeah, room, right, drink. And I was very lucky that employee took responsibility for her actions because it was really nice of her to apologize for what she did. And then after we're done, we just go and have lunch. So the moral of the story is it's always good to let employees know when they're being kind of rude to you and stand up for yourself and it's always, and I understand sometimes pe employees get frustrated when people don't follow the rules correctly, but they also need to be very polite about it because some people are kind of sensitive with, they get mad when people don't follow the rules and everything. And also just let them know sometimes if they're kind of like being rude, you got to let them know and stand up for yourself because it's never good to let someone to be rude to you at all. At all. And I was very glad that Josie and I were able to talk to the employee that was super rude to her. So that was my other frustrating karaoke story. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. And if you didn't see my first four frustrating karaoke stories, I'll link them all in the description box down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I post every day except for Tuesday and Friday afternoon sometimes, and I'll see you in another video soon. Bye.